So we, in our school, we're trying to embed a common language of literacy across the curriculum. Uh, pupils are familiar with terminology, such as skimming, scanning, visualising, and we've got these posters that are displayed uh, in all classrooms. With our triple li literacy funding, we uh, set up a PLC with members of the English, Modern Languages and Welsh departments. We met to, dis to discuss ideas and share good practice. We created resources and trialled um, our resources with our target group, which was three year seven classes. We observed lessons and we fed back to our PLC. Each department tried a series of lessons uh, with a common theme of sharing the language of literacy. Um, in the French department, we felt that the reading was very often a neglected skill in Year 7. The pupils find it very difficult, they don't enjoy it, and uh, we wanted to try and use uh, literacy strategies to help them access more complex, authentic texts. So we presented, th we presented them with this text, um, which you will find in your packs if you want to look at later. The initial reaction, as you can imagine, was shock. We normally use this text with much older pupils, maybe GCSE or AS level students, uh, especially when you compare it to a, a typical Year 7 text from a textbook. So we presented it as a challenge, and we're going to show you a clip now, hopefully, uh, showing how we got the pupils to try and access this text. In this lesson, pupils have been given a long text on judo champion Teddy Rine. Two lesson objectives have been set, to find out about Teddy Rine and to use strategies to help understand difficult texts. Now, how are we going to attack this text? What are we going to do with it? How are we going to understand? Okay, what do you think now? Let's have a look. Katie, what, do you, what are you going to do first? If you're going to attack that text, what do you think you could do? I'm going to read through it and see what you already know. Excellent. That's a really good point, actually. In the first activity, pupils have to find words that they already know, and the teacher encourages the pupils to use their prior knowledge. The pupils skim through the text, discussing in pairs and noting words on mini whiteboards. <laughs> okay, trois, deux, un, et arrêtez. Let's have a look then. Let's see what you've got. Oh, excellent! We've got judo, we got l'histoire, out. Um, Tyler, give me one of those words. Qu'est-ce que tu as? Avec. Avec, we did before. Okay, we got all the colours. We blanc, bleu, excellent. Good, good, good. So already, we've been able to find words you already knew. And I've seen loads and loads of these on your, on your whiteboard. It's amazing, isn't it? From that text, look, all of those words. And then more than that. In activity two, Pupils are asked what other skills they could use to help them access the text, and they come up with the word cognates. Cognates. Answer that again for me. Um, like words that sound like English. English. I mean, maybe some similar words to Welsh as well in there, or maybe Spanish. Some words on Spanish now as well. Okay. So you can find, I hope, some cognates like English, Cymraic, Espanol, whichever ones of those you recognise first. So, encore then, deux minutes, trouvez cinq, cinq cognates, OK? Right? Trouvez les mots pour moi. I've lost category, is it? Oh, They move on to an activity where they have to match pictures with paragraphs of text. They use the strategy of visualisation to help them understand the text. Des images. Okay. Est-ce que vous pouvez trouver la bonne image pour chaque paragraphe? Here they need to scan more closely for specific information. The teacher asks pupils how they completed the task and which skills they used. Okay. How did you go about doing that? So Mahala, what did you how did you start with that? What did you do? Okay, so familiar words. Now, this is where it gets really difficult. And you go, oh, I'm going home, I don't want to do this. Okay. Vous savez sur la table, okay, laissez les images, give everything as it is, mais vous savez sur la table, une feuille, okay, avec what we then did in the Welsh department, um, similar to French, was obviously developing their reading and understanding, but was to take this a step further and provide pupils with more detailed, complex texts and to support them, encourage them to use this then as framework for developing their own writing levels. So I'll show you a quick clip of this in practice. Erbyn do otherwise, by the end of this lesson, 
Okay, Bernie Mini Gaffney, we're going to have understood this whole page of Cymraeg, okay? And we're also going to use it to be able to write something similar. In the Welsh lesson, pupils are using higher level reading texts to develop their productive skills, in particular writing. Discuss, trafodwch gyda partner, a wedyn identify, select and highlight these different parts of the text. Pupils scan the text to look for examples of verbs, adjectives, opinions, connectives, past tense, conditional, third person. Language mats are provided to support pupils. Pupils are familiar with the grammatical terminology, which helps them in other areas of the curriculum, in particular English and modern foreign languages. Pupils feed back and are praised for finding complex structures which they can then use to improve their levels in writing and speaking tasks. Diane and Tyler, I think I Roy and write TV or I'm sorry, model conditional tense. Diane, all of these now that we're located in, okay, as you do in your French lessons and your English lessons, okay, we can use these skills now and the, the structures to help us develop our writing. So if I were to ask you, or speaking of any hate, to write something similar, what am I going to include as a success criteria? So Pupils are then set a challenge to write an account about themselves using the Welsh text as a framework. They are asked to think about what they need to include and to write their own success criteria for the task. Okay. We we'll just cut that a little bit short due to time. We did also have a clip um, with some English lessons where the pupils were focusing on a more complex level of language and trying to develop higher order literacy skills such as making predictions and analysing. Um, the clip will eventually be available on the, the SILT website. Um, if we come to the impact of the Triple Literacy Project, it's been very positive in French Pupils are accessing much higher level texts and we're encouraging them to visit French websites to read articles of their own choice. Um, in Welsh, as the, the graph displayed there, um, this is comparing results from um, one focus group where we were providing them with more complex texts and the scanning skimming example um, of developing their reading compared to a traditional year seven class. When we leveled them in January, that's the blue box at the bottom there, you can see from the focus, there's very, very similar results then for both focus group and year, the traditional year seven class. Come July when we re-leveled uh, pupils, what we found was by providing them with much more complicated, complex structures as a framework that their levels really, really did improve there with 11 um, developing to level <coughs> five and five there to, to level six. Um, pupil feedback has been very positive and we've been delighted with the results of the project. We've, we've got uh, some feedback from some of the pupils now. I really enjoy my English lessons because I love reading and using my imagination creatively. Reading in English has helped me in languages too because we are taught lots of different strategies to understand a range of texts. We are encouraged to explore new words independently, predict and scan. I have used these skills in both Welsh and French lessons but also these skills on other subjects such as RS, Geography and Science. And then, um, obviously, in looking at the way forward with this, um, what we what we obviously aim to do is to continue with with the work in Year Seven, um, as well as share this with with the departments and and the whole school. Um, in French, we're going to uh, try and produce more resources, and we're going to follow the Welsh example where we get them then to use the reading text to help them improve their written and spoken French as well, using more complex structures, a higher level of language. Um, what we've actually done uh, at the beginning of this week was share, share the project um, on an insect for the whole school um, in order to try and develop it then and embed it for a, as a whole school approach. Mm -hmm. Our literacy coordinator and senior staff have been very pleased with the, the results and we're very grateful for the funding that we've received from Silk Cymru as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.